So you know, the question really was, what, what predicts divorce and stability? How are the masters and the disasters different? And one thing we discover is that if you just take the amount of positive emotion in a conflict discussion and divide it by the amount of negative emotion, so positive emotion is uh, things like interest in one another, asking questions, humor, affection, empathy, uh, validation, understanding, and negative emotions, hostility, anger, uh, disappointment, hurt feelings, uh, tension, and so on, contempt. And we find that in relationships that are stable, the ratio of positive to negative is about five, five times as many positive things during conflict as negative things. Whereas for couples that are heading for divorce or continued misery, the ratio of positive to negative is about 0.8. So just a little bit more negative than positive. And the apartment lab, that ratio went to 20 to 1. So a relationship has got to be a rich climate of positive compared to negative emotion, even during conflict. And, uh, and just the opposite of what George Bach suggested, really the masters of relationships were really nice to each other. They were gentle. They thought about how to say things. They minimized defensiveness.